Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Schwartz here. Uh, in this video, we're just gonna talk about uh, duplicate rules. So in, a, in one of our previous videos, we created a matching rule um, on the account object that will check basically the name is an exact match, okay? Um, so just make sure you activate that matching rule, otherwise you're gonna have a couple of issues. Um, so next step is to just type in duplicate rules on the top left and click on that and then click new rule, select account object. Then inside of this, um, we're gonna call this something similar to what we called the matching rule. So we'll just call that account check name. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that as it is for now. All right, so over here, we've got a couple of cool options. So you can select whether you want to allow or block the creation and then pop up an alert and make it visible for reporting. So for now, let's leave it with um, allow and here you can put in an alert text if you want to. If we move down to the bottom, uh, this part is pretty important. So compare accounts with accounts. So you can select what you wanna compare it with. Then select the matching rule, okay? So we wanna select the matching rule we created before, which is account check name. And here it shows you the matching criteria. Um, at the bottom, you can add some some uh, conditions if you want to, but for now we're just gonna leave it as it is. Um, we just wanna check if the account name is a match, then block it. So hit save here. Then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to accounts, click on new, go to customers. Actually, yeah, let's just copy one of the names. So let's use S-Force, then click on new, next and let's put the name in there. So I'm putting S-Force in there for an account and that's the only thing it's really checking. So let me hit save. Ah, uh, oh, okay, I never activated it, <laughs> right? So <laughs> yeah, important lesson for everyone, make sure you activate the duplicate rule, otherwise you're gonna wonder why it's not working. Okay, cool. So as you can see, it normally does work. So now we got two S-Force um, accounts. So I'm just gonna do the same thing again, put put an S force and hit save and there you go. This this record looks like an existing record. Please make sure you check potential duplicate records before saving. Okay, so there's no way of actually, um, let's just have a look here. Oh, okay, yeah, so I've got allow. So that's why if you click save the second time, it's gonna allow you to create it. So that's, that's the difference between obviously allowing it and it blocking it. So what I'm gonna do next is block it, okay? So for allow, it gives you the alert first and then you can still still um, create it. But now I'm just gonna block it. So now if I go back to Salesforce, in the account object, click new, um, there should be no way to create an account now with the exact same name. So I'm gonna click save. You can't save this record because the duplicate already exists. Okay, so yeah, there's no way of actually saving it. You can click on view, view duplicates and then this is pretty cool, it shows you all the potential duplicates that there are. And then, yeah, you can open the accounts and, and check them out from here. Um, yeah, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe. One more thing that you can do is you can select all of these potential duplicates that you've got, okay? Then click next, um, select which fields you wanna compare it to, click next, and then you can merge them. So if you click merge, it's gonna, this is a pretty cool functionality. So it's gonna merge all of the accounts into one. So now if I go back, all of those accounts got merged into one account. So yeah, please subscribe and check out our, our other videos. Thanks.